Begin the balance sequence by selecting the collet that best fits the center hole of the wheel. We will be back cone mounting since this usually provides the best centering. Next, slide the cone onto the spindle. I want to show an adapter that many folks don't pay attention to. I'm going to change the angle right now to help you understand. If I was to balance a wheel that fit this cone, okay, this cone will allow the wheel to come on and this is spring loaded. Okay, I can't compress that by my fingers, but this spring loads inside this pocket. Okay, because the whole principle is turn that right there. This flat piece here of the wheel has got to be pressed against this flange right there. Okay, if this does not touch this, then the wheel is going to be wobbly. Okay, so when we, when we push the wheel, you know, with the big nut, you know, the big spin on nut, it's going to push it all together. The wheel is actually pushing the cone inside this pocket. Well, this particular wheel, keep it there, it takes a bigger cone. And this bigger cone, okay, it's not going to fit inside this pocket. When this compresses down, the wheel's going to be sitting out here because this, there's no space for it. So, this is when you need this adapter. And this adapter makes for space for this cone. It's not on all the way. Maybe it is. The cone here will now center the wheel and it will allow that flat part, right, to press against this flat part here. Again, the wheel has to be pressed against here. The cone just keeps everything centered. This keeps everything straight. Okay, let's go ahead. I'll back up a little and yeah, raise it up. Perfect. We'll slide it on. And I'm going to pump the pedal twice real quick. You got the started? Watch this. Is it going the wrong way? Okay. Like you can drop the platform, and I'm gonna hit the brake. But yet you already got it. Yeah, it's the brake, and you got it tight. Sure. Wonderful. So once again, the whole premise, the whole point of this little edition of my video, is that this flat part of the wheel has got to be riding flat against that inner flange. They got to be butted against each other flat, or you will not have a successful wheel balance. I'll conclude with this. Please keep in mind to properly mount a wheel to this tire balancer. What I have seen in the past is nine out of ten times when someone is using excessive weights, a whole lot of lead, okay, or they think the wheel is bent, in reality they've not mounted the wheel uh, assembly to this machine properly. So I'll end with that. Have a good day.